lot of things, and, and uh, that shows love of community. But when you're out of elected office for 14 years, why come back? Is it in the blood? I mean, I think well, with politicians, you know, it gets in the blood. It is. You know, uh, I, I, did, I did run federally twice. I ran provincially once. So I was out, but I wasn't out. Uh, I really enjoy working with people. I enjoy trying to make a difference. Mm -hmm. And I enjoy trying to be a part of the solution rather than a part of the problem. So um, it, it kind of happened, not by accident, but um, where I'm working and I'm finishing at the end of the month, they told me a year ago that they would be retiring me in a year. So that was January, end of January of 2015. Yes. So. Um, I didn't want to retire. You know, I'm too young for that kind of stuff, but I didn't have a choice. And then, oh, about a month later, Brad announces he's running for mayor. So I said to my wife, gee, Brad's running for mayor. I'm retiring. You know, what, what do you think about me getting back into politics? You know? And she said, well, you know, if you're game for it, well, let's do it. So I, so I did. I made the decision. Um, you know, when I got out of politics and when the amalgamation came, mm -hmm. it took me, honestly, two or three years to get back to a normal situation. I expected phone calls and problems and talking to people and working, and I, I just didn't have it uh, uh, as I did before. So uh, I really missed it. I, I really did. And when Brad decided to run for mayor, everything came back to me as, I want to get back into this. So that's what happened, really, as far and as me. And it's important to have a spouse at your side who says yes, because they understand that it's in the system, that you still want to contribute, and who wants to sit on their butt retired without something to do? Not me. And this is a great way to give back Not to the community. Listen, my, my wife is a great sport. She was my uh, campaign manager, you know, and it's not like she's a natural campaign person. But she does a great job at it. She's mm -hmm. very, very organized. And I couldn't have ran the campaign or run without her support. I had other people's support, too, obviously. But without her support, if she would have said, no, Doug, I don't think you should, I wouldn't have ran. So I had her support 100%. Now, let's, let's go back to that election. What do you think allowed you to creep up the middle with these strong female candidates? The young gentleman, and I've forgotten his name now, who actually finished second, who ran a very oh, strong... Finished third. Finished third and, and had a lot of ideas, a lot of energy at the door. This was a very competitive Ward 9, which is obviously always going to happen when the incumbent steps aside to do something else. So it was a very competitive field. What put you over the top? Well, I looked at my competitors and kind of sized them up, if you want to say. I figured I had four, quote unquote, serious people running, uh, one of them being me and three other. And I, I did an analyze it pretty good. Um, I know Nan Nancy Florentino had, uh, had run before. She had run provincially, so she had exposure. So I, I thought she was my main competitor. Um, Marie Robbins, I wasn't sure what her experience, experience politically was. And um, Cam was a new guy on the block, mm -hmm. young guy, ambitious, and, uh, and he did a very good job. I, I, was, I wasn't afraid of him, but he did better than I thought he would do. You know, some things I didn't agree with, he did some things I did, but that's, that's politics. And, um, I, I, and I can't... I can't worry about anybody else. Worry about Doug. And I said, if I do this, and I do this, and I do this. Um, I, when I finished the campaign, I was very pleased on, on what I did. I, can't, I wouldn't have sat back and say, I wish I would have done this, or I did this wrong. I don't think I did anything wrong. But I, I did push my experience a lot, because uh, nobody else had any uh, experience politically uh, other than running, uh, some of them, but none had the experience, and I did. I know what it takes. <laughs> I know what it takes to be a counselor, and I was ready to take that on. So uh, I was, I was very joy. I, I was very peaceful though at, mm -hmm. at at election night. You know, I wasn't running around nervous. I just right from the beginning though, I had the lead. 
that helped me a lot. <laughs> Every time I looked up at the screen, I had the lead. And I had um, people uh, at all the polling stations taking the numbers, so I knew I had a pretty good lead then, but we couldn't get the results of the, or I couldn't anyways, of the advanced poll and, mm. and a couple of the seniors poll, and it took like forever. I, I don't understand that. <laughs> it took like 9.30, quarter to 10 before they announced that I had won, even though I was leading all the time. You would have thought the advance poll would have been on the screen at 802 at the latest. Well, it might have been because you <laughs> don't know what polls are on or out. Yeah, exactly. It might have been on there, but uh, I was just thinking, well, if that's what they're saying on the on the TV, and I know what the seven of them are, because I had people there, I think I'm in good shape, and and it worked out I was. You have a very strange ward. You think? I think because you're taking. <laughs> You have the the old